I finished eating the inside of this coconut over here, but and now I decided, you know what? Let me record another message for you. And I'm using a drawing because one of my subscribers told me that drawings make things clear onto him. So okay. What you see here is Bob. Bob, as you see, his energy field is broken down, completely messed up, filled with holes. And there are these energetic tumors in his energy field. Those are heavy energy that that begin to grow and grow like tumors, like cancer, and they hang in his energy field. These are just clots of heavy waste energy that are hanging in his energy fields. And these clot these clots of negative energy who are like rocks, they cause his head to feel heavy. So he's tired often. Not because something wrong with him physically, but because there's some because his energy field is so polluted. Okay? Now, Bob goes to a voodoo priest, who was a pagan. And in the ceremony here, you have the public, he's called to the front. And the voodoo priest, behind his stands, point at him, and he commands the spirits to work on Bob's behalf. When Bob is on his knees and paying homage to the voodoo priests and the voodoo entities, there are fallen angels, or sometimes Nephilim spirits, that are energetically, they are, they are performing energetic surgery on Bob's energy field and they're removing the uh, energe energy tumors from him. They lift him up. And when this happens, Bob's energy field recovers quickly. And his body senses it and he can stand again, he can move again, and he's rejoicing. And the people here are praising the voodoo priest for what the voodoo priest has done. Meanwhile, what happens within just what happens behind the scenes is that there is a strong there's a stronghold over there with a strong man, this demon operating it. These are all the other demons that are grouped together to form a pyramid. And the the demons that that performed the energy surgery that took all those energy tumors, they now they now present the tumors before the strong man. And the strong man is then looks into the public and he points towards a woman called Jennifer. Jennifer is over here. She's physically healthy. She has thinking issues like most women do. And because she has certain thinking issues relating to condemnation, the strong man tells those evil spirits to implant those energy tumors into her energy field. And when this happens, well, she becomes sick within a few days because the feminine energy field is weaker than that of a man and the energy field is, a, is smaller also. So when these heavy tumors were placed in, in her energy field, it had a direct effect on her. You can see her in the hospital and her relatives are visiting her. The people don't know how she suddenly became so sick. But here's the thing, she attended a voodoo ceremony where to witness a voodoo healing. The fact that she decided to be present there made her vulnerable for such an attack. Was this an attack? He has been relieved while she has been intoxicated. That's how it goes in the paranormal. The darkness or the evil is not dissolved, it's not dealt with, it's just replaced. But hold on a minute, doesn't this sound familiar? It should, because this was happening in pagan Christianity. In those Churches where they have those healing services, deliverance uh, services, and all of it, this is what's going on over there. There are some congregations out there who don't know any better that they're using the Babylon church as a place to come together. There are some congregations out there where real miracles happen. But when real miracles happen, these blocks are dissolved by the fire that comes, of the, that comes from the prayers of the people praying for the individual. But in pink Christianity, things are only replaced. So listen to me carefully. It's very dangerous to attend those healing services of pagan Christianity because there is no real healing happening there. This guy has been relieved, but he has not been delivered. He has been relieved and this woman has been intoxicated and now she is suffering and her relatives are also in pain. And who benefits of the negative emotions that comes from their suffering, evil spirits do. 
it's trading a soul for a soul that's what the that's what babylon church are doing this is what the harlot system does that's how babylon operates a soul for a soul that's how it goes so it's dangerous to even attend those so-called healing services pray to have discernment that's it for now agree with christ and be at peace